From the Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa, hematoid ferruginous hematite included quartz. Now here what we have, we have what, what has made the Orange River quartz as famous is the lovely red phantoms inside the quartzes, which would be a first generation of quartz which uh, got coated by hematite and some of it would have lost its oxygen turned into girthite and then a second silica flow would have come over and given it this the phantom appearance where you see they're almost a v-shape within the crystals sideways view pretty nice on this one little bit of projection of the main ore this is what i always look for there's a bit of projection of the main ore there is a little bit of contact over there across there and i think one or two crystals here but a pretty nice piece, lovely colorful piece, uh, all the way from, I suspect in this case we're looking from the deposits going from uh, maybe Good House going towards Vitbank side, where these guys come from. But it's all within a two, three hundred kilometer radius, where the Orange River and the uh, on the Namibian side and the South African side intersects in the northern cape of South Africa.